Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come to a very, it's a beautiful place. Because, Elizabeth, I think you've been live here, Dan. You've been live here mm -hmm. as well. But yeah. when you come in, you, you see the building up here. That's We're on the back side, yeah, kind of think, the alley I've in never here. Been but on this, that is side. Where, mm -hmm. this is where, yeah, this is where all the activity is. And this is right near the entrance of the kitchen. Come on in. Oh, all okay. right. We'll follow you. Herb Johnson. For a bit. That's a busy kitchen. This Where's man Herb? has been here for There's years. Herb. The good man. Almost Aww. two decades. And Herb, good to see you, my friend. Good morning. How are you? Fantastic. Uh, first of all, you, this is something you, opening the doors to the to the public and all the homeless people that you actually have a lot of people in, on a daily basis inside what used to be, I think, an old hospital. Right? That's right. It used to be the old Harborview Hospital. And we've been here, we own the building since uh, 2000. It took us two years of litigation to get in here. Uh, but every day there's 600 people in this building. All right, and that means, that's kind of a, is a little addition. Here we go. About 450 people coming in off the street, whatever the needs that are, are. But you also have a huge staff. We have about 140 staff in here. Um, so the impact of the population is that it's generally over 500 folks here in some sort of a treatment program. Most of which, 85% of them are here for a year to a year and a half trying to change their lives yeah and, and you do that with real people and real food i mean you're you're cooking inside there take us inside herb this morning uh you got to see this this is this is pretty amazing i'll i'll just follow you in Herb. so this kitchen this is a big kitchen this Come kitchen on. starts running it's an a kitchen there is no kitchen in san diego not in the finest restaurant that has a higher rating than this kitchen. uh we do a half a million meals in this room right here every single year. Uh, it operates from uh, about 4 o'clock, 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning until around 6, 6.30 at night, depending all on... All right, now, going. Dan Elizabeth, first of all, you're going to be in a kitchen. you got to wear your apron. you got to have your mittens, right? I just want to ask you guys one thing. We're, we're listening. Go we're ahead. We're here, David. Shoot your question. Right here, buddy. What do you think? Uh huh. What do you think is in here? See, uh, this soup. is a big ladle. Soup. Mm. I'm gonna go some kind of a soup with a lot of vegetables and potatoes and carrots and onions. <laughs> so Dan, you say a big soup with a lot of potatoes and, and vegetables and, and other things like that. Good Elizabeth, thing. what do you say? Oh, let's see. Uh, gosh, for Easter. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like some hot cider. No, it wouldn't be on the stove. It'd kind of be on one of those cylinders. Hot cider. So Dan says a big soup, mm -hmm. and Elizabeth says a hot cider. <laughs> I like it. I like so it. Opposite. Should we reveal it to him yet, Herb? Go ahead and give it to him, Dan. Okay. That's All right, right. Herb, you, you go ahead. Mashed potatoes? Herb, you come around this side. You open up this thing. Here we go. Here we go. What you got in there? Little, Look, who little, is closest? Little, little white things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Dan might have won this contest. Well, we serve uh, soup here every single day, uh, usually for the midday meal. Um, these are uh, potatoes oh for our meal this afternoon, and we're serving pork loin. Uh, unbelievable. Howard uh, Kalbeck is over there. We got uh, pork loin this afternoon. And we got broccoli. And uh, a little trick with broccoli is so it doesn't look oh like goodness. it died a week ago is that uh, they cook it and then they ice it down and then we bring it back up. And there's the man right there with the broccoli. There Check is. it out and, over there. Look green. at all that pork loin. And it's green. It's not brown. So broccoli, yeah. broccoli is sensitive yeah. to color up. Look, he's got up. the stacks of uh, pork loin right behind him. Yeah, there. we're going we're, we're to send a little back to the studio today for you guys, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Elizabeth. They may add cider to the menu a little later on. I know. Oh. You know what I was really wanting to say is menudo. Menudo. That's really what I wanted to say. But oh, I'm yeah. like, eh, it's kind of complicated to make well, menudo. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, uh, the, the, what we saw in there, there's a lot of mushrooms. Beautiful mushrooms. A lot of mushrooms. Yeah. They, they really take that care of good. people. They take care of people. 
uh, and just the like nutrition. A, I mean, and people out there yeah. on the street who need help. Yeah. It's a rescue mission, and they do a fantastic job. Yeah, not only for just people, but a lot of families, mothers with children, and that is so yeah. important to get those parents off the streets with the kids. So, good absolutely, stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. And Herb is the best. I understand yeah. Herb is, Herb's getting ready to hang up his uh, hat. And uh, that's that kind of makes me sad. Yeah. A we'll talk more about that okay. when we come back. Okay. All right. Sounds good, Dave. Good deal, right, David. Thank you. David and Herb. All right.